do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright y'all, we back with another big body bang, you feel me? Listen, today we have a crazy video. This husband finds his loving wife getting clapped on the couch with their kids sleep in the next room. Now that is that is just extremely disrespectful. First of all, let's imagine you're just a nice wholesome dude. You at work, you know what I'm saying? Getting money to pay the bills, take care of your wife, your family, all that, right? You come home, honey, I'm home. All you hear is you look on your couch, it's your wife, booty balls naked, with, with Frank from next door. And guess what? The kids is in the other room sound asleep. The kids is ops too. The, the, the kids is, y'all should hear that, because they over here, I know they ain't quiet, you hear, you know what I'm saying? Them kids ain't stupid, they know what the heck that means, and they being quiet about it. And this probably ain't the first time. Anyways, we're finna watch this video. Um... Honestly, I just made all that up, but I don't know what the circumstances were. We finna see it right now, though. If you're excited for this video, smash the freaking like button. Y'all been loving these type of videos, and I personally love making them. So, without further ado, let's just hop right into this, man. Walked in on my loving wife banging a fair partner while kids sleep upstairs. Plus update. For the past several weeks, I have been working late nights in the office so I can finish work early and have breakfast with the kids and do the school runs. Wholesome, right? He he he, he wants to finish work early so he can have breakfast with his kids and, and take his kids to school. He's a host. He sounds pretty wholesome to me. Sounds like a great guy. It's always the great guys that get cheated on. Tonight, the boss let me finish halfway through my shift due to the amount of work I have put in on a project that is now completed. On the drive home, I was looking forward to some us time with the little ones in bed. Well... I walked in on my wife sleeping with some bloke on the sofa. It was a deer in headlights moment. I grabbed my keys and am now in the office wondering what the hell I'm going to do. My phone is blowing up with calls and texts from my wife telling me to come back so she can explain. Wait, okay, so I hate when girls say this, right? I hate when stupid people say this. First of all, he's stupid. Why did he leave? He grabbed his kid. He saw his wife. He heard it. You know what I'm saying? He saw it. And then he was like, huh, grabs keys, storms out door, goes back to work. Gotta get to this bag. First of all, never mind. I'm not gonna tell you what you should have done. Anyways, second of all, why do people that cheat always say, I can explain? What are you gonna explain? You were booty balls naked with very, 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 name. I ain't, I can't stay on YouTube, but booty balls naked, girl, guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. But I just can't. I am so pissed off right now. I never thought she would cheat on me. We have been happily married for over a decade. Dang! Sure, we have had our arguments over the years, but what married couple hasn't? I have given her everything she asked for, along with three beautiful kids. I need advice, please. I am at a loss of what to do. I'm gonna give you advice after Update this video. Catching wife sleeping with a fair partner on the sofa. Although it's only been nine days since I posted about catching my wife sleeping with a fair partner on the sofa, I know a lot of you have asked to be kept updated. Well, as you can imagine, the shite has now hit the fan. And I have no idea where to start. Tell us. I am currently off work and will be until I am ready to go back. A few of you asked why I didn't smash the guy's face. That's what I'm asking, Frank. Did he say his name? I don't know, but I'm assuming he a Frank. Frank seem like people who go to work regular nine to fives and come home to take the... I don't know. His name is Frank. Why didn't you not smash this guy's face in? Why didn't you take your keys and key his car or something? Why didn't you... You literally did absolutely nothing except for sat there and got humiliated. And they probably finished on the couch when you left. They was halfway through and they was like, ah, we got caught, might as well finish. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. It's mainly because if I got arrested, then social services would have gotten involved. And in the event of a divorce, that would be used against me. Dang. I took your advice to get all bank accounts in order and removed my wife from the kids' trust funds and my own account straight away in case she tried to empty them. She has her own account for the money she earns from work. Well... She did indeed try to empty all of them two days after my visit. FYI, I have already paid the bills for the house. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You cheated and you rushed to go empty the bank accounts? Are you freaking serious? You cheated and you rushed to do that. This got to be the stupid. Wh whose mom is this? Whose mother is this? Somebody find the kids. I need to interrogate them to figure out why they have such a stupid mom. Days before this crap show happened. I have been to the doctor to be checked for STIs literally days after I posted, and I have been given the all clear. I followed that up with a long meeting with a team of divorce lawyers to find out what is to happen next. Being a computer technician, 
I have remote access to my home computer and secondary laptop that the kids use for school work, and well, I have found that my dear wife has left herself locked into Facebook, and I stumbled across message upon message to her affair partner, including photos, sensual texting, paid bills for hotels, and meet-up arrangements. Wait, the, the, the wife was paying, the wife was a, paying for the affair partner's hotels? Yeah, this some, this some next level buffoonery. This is some next level buffoon. The wife, come on now, bro. That's disrespectful. It turns out this affair has been going on for seven years now. Her affair partner is her best friend's little brother, and she has been sleeping with him since he was 19. All this has been given to the lawyers as there is no going back now, and I have to wait for a few months to start the process as there is currently a backlog due to the... Sarah. Sarah's cheat. Every, every person I know named Sarah is a cheater. Complete cheater. Sarah. You've been cheating for seven years straight with a 19-year-old? On your husband that you've been married to for 10 years and you have three kids with? You've been cheating on him with your best friend's little brother for seven years? And then you had the nerve when they caught you to say, I can explain? What are you going to explain? Your whole love life for the past seven freaking years, you little thought? This just pissed me off. Kevin seems like a good... Is it Kevin? What's his name? Frank? Fra Frank, Kevin, whatever the heck I named him. He seems like a good dude. And he's just getting hit with this foolishness because Sarah's a little thought. The pandemic. Also, all trust in her has been complete. I returned home four days ago, packed her bags, and kicked her cheating arse out. The kids are with me, and after a difficult conversation with all three of them, they are now fully aware that mummy is not coming. Good. Back. Tell them your mother is a thought. Tell them that. Tell, I'll be, yo, your mama is a certified thought. She is a horrible person. I don't ever want you liking her ever again. That's what I would do. You got to plant them, them seeds because their mama is a horrible person. You can't lie. You can't. A lot of them had them thinking that their mom is, is superwoman or something. No, she's a certified thought. It's just that. And even though her name might not be Sarah, we're changing her name to Sarah because that's what she freaking gets. But they can still see her. While I am angry with her, I won't be that parent who holds the kids to ransom. Nah, I would. My in-laws and family are fully aware of what their daughter and sister have done. Her relationship with her family is now strained. Her bestie slated me on Facebook for walking out on her and the kids, and my brother-in-law posted the link to Reddit on Facebook, so now everyone knows, and the post was taken down. As for my wife, I haven't spoken one word to her since that night, and all communication will be through the lawyers now. I have text messages from her basically saying that she is going to ruin me in court, saying shite like I was controlling, abusive, etc. The lawyers have all copies. What the f- See, th this is the scary thing, because girls could just come and say, yeah, he was, he was abusing me. In a minute, in a minute. He Frank never touched you. Frank is not the type of dude that would touch you. Frank is the type of dude that works hard, makes money, comes home to be with his kids and his wife. And he, come, he came home to be with his kids and his wife, getting bust down on the freaking couch. This is stupid. I have deleted Facebook due to her small circle of friends sending vile messages for ruining her life. Ruining her I'm life? currently awaiting the results of the paternity test to see if the kids are mine. The affair partner demanded to be tested in case the younger two are his, but for now, they are with me as my wife is living with the affair partner. Update on wife's affair with younger lover and DNA test results. After two tests, the first one being inconclusive due to contamination, I received the results two weeks ago. I was devastated to learn that I am the biological father of only one of my three children. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's... Come on, man. The eldest. During these two weeks, my ex's affair partner's parents managed to get emergency custody of the younger two children, citing my lack of blood relation as a reason. I tried my best to fight for their custody in court but was unsuccessful. I am trying my best to be strong for my remaining son, but Dang. the sudden loss of my other children has completely shaken us. I have put the house on the market to sell and am currently renting a small two-bedroom apartment because I cannot bear to live in that house anymore, as everything reminds me of the kids. My son and I are currently in therapy together, and we are both trying to work through our trust issues with his mother. The fact that he doesn't see his siblings every day has also taken a toll. Dang, man, you ain't even freaking think about that when you cheating, you stupid. This just pissed me off. 
that's just so horrible. Like you, you ruined your entire life. You ruined your husband's life and you ruined your kid's life who didn't ask for none of this. Now they won't get to see their siblings. Now there's a div- div- division between their siblings. Now you're, these, now these, the two youngest ones is living with some random people that don't freaking know. Like they don't know the, 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 they don't know the grandparents. They don't know that other dude. They don't know that. Like who, what the, f- you, Sarah, I hate Sarah. I hate Sarah. That's so stupid. Like that's so, like all because you just, what, why did you cheat? I wish I could talk to Sarah right now face to face. Man, I promise you on everything. She will regret everything she's ever done her entire life when I'm done with her. <sighs> like, that's crazy. And it, the whole time he's been raising these kids, it's not even his kids. Like, that's, that's not right, bro. Man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. That's, that's ridiculous. That's so stupid. That just pissed me off. That just, th- it's things like this that really just freaking piss me off. Because that's just, you ruined it, your entire family's life for what? Like what? Why? It it was never that good. No matter what, it, it was never that good. Never worth it. Man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. But that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, if you think this video is crazy, smash the freaking like button. But if you enjoyed this video, trust me, I got a crazier video for you. This right here. How is just you watch this video? Just know this the boyfriend has been clapping his own mother. Their entire relationship. That's all I'm going to tell you. That's all I'm going to tell you. Just watch this video. It's freaking ridiculous. Anyways, y'all. I'm going to see y'all out.